find the period for the following functions y equal to 4 sine 2x plus 5 minus 3 cos 2x plus 2 so the 4 is amplitude and 5 is a phase and similarly minus 3 is amplitude and 2 is a phase so we don't care about the amplitude in the phase we just take uh, sine 2x and cos 2x so the period for sine 2x plus 5 would be the same as sine 2x so the period for uh, sine 2x would be alpha 1 equal to 2 pi over 2 that is pi similarly the pair for the second term or cos 2x plus 2 is same as cos 2x and the pair for cos 2x is 2 pi over 2 so this is pi now the LCM or the least common multiple of pi and pi is equal to pi so the pair for this whole function is equal to pi find the pair for the following functions y equal to 18 sine square point 5x minus tan 4x so we have a square here if you have a square we need to convert that square into one power by using double angle function formulas what is cos 2 cos 2 theta in terms of sine cos 2 theta in terms of sine is 1 minus 2 sine square theta meaning what is 2 sine square theta from here 2 sine square theta is equal to if sine sin goes this way 1 minus cos 2 theta right so here you have 18 sine square point 5x can be written as 9 times 2 sine square point 5x 2 sine square 0 0.5x that would be 9 times 1 minus cos theta is 2 theta so 0.5x is 0.5x times 2 is x so this is x so this function will be 9 minus 9 cos x and this is uh, there's no periodicity for this so that is 0 and what is the period and, and this is the amplitude minus 9 so we don't worry about that what is the periodicity of cos x the periodicity of cos x is 2 pi over 1 and it's 2 pi right similarly what is the periodicity of minus tan 4x minus is the amplitude so don't worry about that tan 4x has a period of pi over n or pi by 4 so now we need to find the LCM between pi by 4 and 2 pi that would be uh, the period of this whole function is LCM of 2 pi and pi by 4 what is LCM it's 2 pi right so 2 pi is LCM so the f the period for this whole function is is equal to 2 pi meaning at every 2 pi radians or 360 degrees this function repeats itself it's periodic find the period for the following functions y equal to sine pi x by 2 minus cos 2 pi x plus cot pi x over minus 5 cosecant pi x by 3 plus tan 3 pi x by 2 by 2 so we have the formula if there is a function like this the period for whole function would be the LCM of the periods of each function in here so let's take each function let's take sine pi x by 2 so sine pi x by 2 this is 2 pi by 2 x would be 2 pi over n n is pi by 2 so this is pi pi cancels so this is 4 minus doesn't matter is minus or plus so cos 2 pi x the period of cos 2 pi x is 2 pi over n which is 2 pi is 1 so cos 2 pi x is a period of 1 cot pi x cot pi x as a period of sorry pi over n so pi over pi is equal to 1 this is 1 the period is 1 how about minus 5 cosecant pi by 3 this is amplitude so don't worry about it so the period for cosecant pi over 3 is 2 pi over n which is pi by 3 so this would be 6 pi tan 3 pi over 2 tan 3 pi over 2 would be pi over n which is pi over 3 by 2 
is 2 pi by 3. Oh, sorry, it's 2. Um, my, my bad. So this should be pi pi cancels off in this 6. So there is no pi here. This is just 6. And similarly, here 3 pi over 2. So this will be 3 pi over 2. Pi pi cancels off. You get 2 by 3. Sorry about that. So now the period for the whole function, which is sine pi x by 2, so on, so on, so, would be the LCM of 4, 1, 1, 6, and 2 by 3. So the LCM of 4, 1, 1, 6, 2 by 3 would be 12, right? It's essentially the LCM of 4 and 6, and everything else is also multiple. So it's 4 and 6 is actually 12. So the, the period for this whole function here is equal to 12.